good health and seafood go hand in hand. Seafood comes in the form of fish, prawns, squids, crabs and the likes. Apart from its delicious taste, seafood contains essential oils that play a crucial role in maintaining one's health. To be part of a fisherman's family for one day, the thought of it thrilled me to bits. The fishing village I was going to was a true blue traditional fishing village. As I travel along the famed East Coast Road, I stumble upon a road sign that reads Pattipuram. It is a small fishing hamlet 9 kilometers ahead of my drive to Mahabalipuram. So I take a left turn and ride down the concrete road that leads to Pattipuram. This is a story that begins at sea and ends on the plate. The story of a day in the life of a fisherman. His adventures, hardships and things we probably never knew about him. Isamuttu, a poor fisherman. His life is a hard one, harder than you can ever imagine. His day begins even before the sun rises. While most of us would be warmly tucked into bed, Desamuttu tiptoes around the house preparing to leave for the only work he knows, fishing. He along with his team carry bundles of net and drop them into their tiny diesel powered boat. All set to go, the team of five head into the sea for a new day's catch. While Desa Muthu, fondly known as Muthu, is busy playing the role of the captain and steering the boat into the rough sea, his assistants get busy catching small fish and prawn to use as bait. As we go further into the waters of the Bay of Bengal, we come across other fishermen on their catamarans who must have started their day much earlier than us. Unearthly hours as we say in the city. Experience helps Muthu choose his spot for the day, signaling our temporary stopover for some time to come. Now it's time to assemble the fishing equipment and prepare for a fresh catch. The fishermen lure other fish into a trap where the bait plays the most important role. The hooks are carefully pierced into the tiny prawns in this case. The bait plays its role and attracts the fish. Some fish get stuck in the hook and some get caught in the net. Waiting patiently is the key to a good net catch, Muthu tells me. After what seemed like a momentous and timeless wait, comes the first catch of the day and the team is jubilant. The fisherman frees the catch from the net and welcomes it aboard. Out of the water, the fish gasps for life. Slowly, little by little, the number of fish from the catch increases. After a satisfying catch, it's time to move on 
and one of the team members draws the rope up to pull up the anchor. It's time for lunch under the scorching sun. After a mild break and if the first catch is not satisfactory it's back to some more strenuous work cyclone rain and storm he had seen it all with a seasonal business may is the toughest month of the year when the waves are threatening and the fishes lie low making it impossible for him to cast his net life is hard the salt in the water increases the wear and tear of the boat nets get caught in the rocks in the sea and get destroyed Every new net means an additional expense of 10000 rupees. Of course I hope for a better life for my family. After all the life of a fisherman is very uncertain. We do not have any income during the monsoon months. Also, the rough seas are always dangerous even when it's not monsoon season. The lack of infrastructure nearby and reluctance by the government and other bigger corporations to build proper facilities here is hindering their dreams. It's mid afternoon and the team is tired. Looking to take a much deserved break, they return to land. Back on dry land, he sells his catch at a reasonable price to a widow to enable her to make a livelihood. At sunset, it's the end of yet another hard day at sea. In return, anything between 300 to 400 rupees is all that he will take home. An income hardly enough to feed his family. Muthu works so hard just to be able to give his family a better life. Ah, uh, तो जी इतना वर्षा में नहीं है इतना तीन दा मिन पड़ी तो इतना पांच वर्ष में पांच वर्ष में उंगली का तो मुन्ना डी उंगली लोडे मुन्ने मुन्नर इतना वर्ष में लगा